Hello, welcome to Bourbon and a Baby. My name is Jay. Max will not be joining us today because Max, even though he's growing and growing, is he is still a baby and still cannot review bourbon. All right, and thanks for joining me for another bourbon review here. And for today, I have Basil Hayden's. Uh, Basil Hayden's is a bourbon produced by the Jim Beam Distillery. If you've ever heard of the bourbon Old Grandad, uh, Old Grandad himself is actually Basil Hayden. Uh, so this is an homage to him. Um, this comes in at 80 proof, which is signature for uh, all of the Basil Hayden line. Um, they also produce a, uh, Basil Hayden Dark Rye. They have um, several other, they have a Caribbean uh, rye, um, a 2x2 two two rye. They, their, their line goes on beyond just this bottle here, uh, and most of their other, I think all of their other offerings are uh, some, some type of a rye. Uh, but this is a high rye mash bill for a bourbon, um, uh, and I probably should have looked it up before this, but I didn't. Uh, but I believe the rye content is um, somewhere like... 26 percent ish somewhere like that so uh, a pretty high rye mash bill um, for basil hayden's but again coming in at that 80 proof or, or 40 percent so let's go ahead and give this a pour and see what we think now one of the reasons that i wanted to make sure that i did a review of this and uh and soon is because this is one that I tend to point to um, when people ask, what's a good beginner bourbon? Um, and this is one of the, the three or four that, that are normally my go-tos for a beginner bourbon. So what does it mean by a beginner bourbon? Uh, kind of what it, what it sounds like, right? If, you, if you're first either wanting to start to, to get into bourbon, or maybe you have started to get into bourbon, but uh, you know, you're, you're still new in, in that process. This, I believe, is a really good um, beginner or starter bourbon. Uh, and some of the reasons that I think that, I think will come up uh, as I go through the notes on this, but to me, it, it's very easy to drink, it's pretty light, uh, again, it's 80 proof, so it's not, um, it's not going to overpower you, uh, uh, but it still has a lot of flavor. I, I think it's still pretty flavorful, especially for an 80 proof whiskey. So um, that's why I think it's a really good uh, beginner bourbon. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check the nose. Real light, soft, a little fruity. Uh, and a little, a little peppery, like black pepper. There's almost like, um, kind of like a, a light uh, white wine smell to this. Now I'm not a huge wine person, so I'm not going to be able to tell you it's a Pinot or, uh, or, or whatever. Uh, but like uh, a, a traditional kind of a, a soft white wine smell. Maybe it's a Boone's Farm, I don't know. There's a, a little kind of uh, hint, real, real slight hint of caramel. Um, but again, not a ton going on here. Uh, other than that, that kind of lighty, fruity, little peppery, and a little, little wine. Uh, and a little bit of caramel. So uh, let's see how that transfers to the palate. Cheers. Yeah, so really um, easy to drink. Really smooth, goes down super easy. Um, kind of a, even for as light as it is, kind of more of a, a medium finish. Uh, the, the finish kind of lasts a little bit longer than you'd expect, especially at 80 proof. Um, but right off the bat, I get some of that caramel that I got off the nose. Uh, and that 
I think it was, was that and, and black pepper were kind of like the predominant notes uh, I got on that first sip. Um, but again, it, it, real light, real smooth. Uh, this is something, one, one thing that, like, and, and one of the reasons that I like this as a beginner bourbon is um, one thing that, that might turn people off to bourbon or whiskeys uh, that, that aren't a normal whiskey drinker is kind of that, that punch or that, that burn that you get up front uh, from a lot of whiskeys uh, that, that a lot of uh, 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 seasoned whiskey drinkers or bourbon drinkers really enjoy those things. Um, but if you think back to the beginning of your, of your whiskey or bourbon journey, um, those might have been things that kind of turned you off, right? So uh, this does not have that. This is real light, uh, real easy to sip. Uh, it doesn't make you make that face <laughs> when, when, you, when, you, when you take a take a quick drink of it, right? Um, but again, uh, right up front, caramel and black pepper. This time, I get more of the rye spices, rye and baking spices, um, but I'm still getting that caramel. And actually a lot more caramel than I remember this um, traditionally having. Um, and then as it kind of uh, goes down and as, as that finish is, is kicking in, real um, kind of heavy on the black pepper on the back end. Um, so again, for being a um, 80 proof uh, bourbon, and I've harped on that a lot in this video, um, because we tend to think of an 80 proof whiskey as being kind of real entry level, not a lot going on, not you know more watered down than flavorful. This actually, I believe, is pretty fla flavorful uh, still at that at that 80 proof point, um, and which again is is one of the reasons why I like this as a beginner bourbon because you're not getting too much of the heat um, but you're maintaining a lot of those a lot of those flavors it's not too watered down now it would be interesting to see what this would taste taste like at you know say 96 proof or 100 proof um, and, and to see even more how flavorful this is but uh, that's not their market. Uh, their market, all of all of Basil Hayden, uh, ba Basil Hayden's products are all 80 proof. That's their thing. That's what a lot. If you watch a lot of other uh, whiskey tube um, channels or uh, or reviews of this from from people that are really into bourbon, um, that's usually the biggest knock on Basil Hayden is that 80 proof. And um, and I definitely understand that especially because this comes in at a higher price point as well. Uh, somewhere around you know, 40 to $45 tr traditionally, um, which you know, is a pretty high price to pay for an 80 proof bourbon. That being said, if you compare this to your 80 proof Jim Beam uh, white label, or um, your entry level Evan Williams is, or, or whatever your your other entry level ones out there of your choice, I do think that this brings a lot more to the table um, taste wise than those do. Um, so I understand the 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 price point. I don't love it, but I understand it. Yeah, and I, again, this is a really enjoyable drink. This is something, especially um, even if, if you're not drinking this as a beginner, um, but this is something that I, I could see drinking on like a hot summer day because it's not too overpowering, it's more light. Um, this is something that if you know that you're going to be drinking for a longer period of time than you normally would be, um, this is a, uh, 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 I think a good choice to go to um, and again to kind of address you know some of the negative aspects of this being uh, only 80 proof um, and, and what a lot of other um, reviewers might might um, knock about this but I would compare it to is when you first start drinking beer right so I don't know about you but when I first started drinking beer I was 
pretty broke. I was in college, right? Um, so I was drinking natural light. <laughs> I can remember very, very clearly taking a $5 bill to Olive Creek drive through in Columbus. Shout out to them. I don't know if they're still open or not. Um, but uh, taking a $5 bill there and you could buy a 12 pack of Natty Light and get changed. <laughs> so, um, and they, uh, if you looked like you might have been underage, not saying that I was underage at that time, but if you looked like you might have been underage, they were notorious for not checking. But, uh, uh, so shout out to Island Creek Drive through in Columbus for that. Um, but anyway, so at a certain point, um, I was still drinking, I was still pretty young and I was still drinking light beer, but I had a better job. So I could afford to buy Bud Light, right? Which, you know, Say what you want about Bud Light or, or any, any light beer. Um, compared to Natty Light, <laughs> Bud Light was like a premium uh, beer and you were paying more for it. Um, uh, you know, at that, at that price point, right? So that's what I think about Basil Hayden's. Um, it's an 80 proofer. It's kind of going to be on that lower end as far as... Uh, uh, proof wise goes you know people might compare it a lot to like like I said earlier like your Jim Beam white labels at 80 proof but this is more expensive than a Jim Beam white label but has a lot more flavor um, so that's kind of the, the comparison I would draw um, I do think this is a really good bourbon it's not something that is gonna knock my socks off but um, it's good. It, I definitely recommend it, especially uh, if you're first getting into bourbons, uh, or maybe uh, you know you uh, are just like I said earlier. You're looking for um, something that you can drink a little bit longer um, because you know it's going to be a long day, or you know it's a nice, nice, nice warm summer day. So, so yeah. Tell me what your thoughts are on. Uh, do you do you appreciate Basil Hayden's for what it is? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, let me know in those comments below. Um, you can follow Max and myself on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're at Bourbon and a Baby on all those platforms. And um, check out my good friends at RWP Supply Company. I'll put that link in the description below. You can get yourself a sweet T-shirt like this. Um, and uh, and yeah. Max and I have our own merch shop uh, and uh, on uh, Spreadshirt. I'll put that link in the description below as well. So uh, thanks for, for watching. Cheers. Yeah, nice, easy, mellow, but still flavorful. Rye, that rye is kicking in, that black pepper. Caramel. Good sipper.